Go. Most pre-takeoff cockpit checklists call for the engine idle check to be conducted after the engine run-ups. This can be a poor practice. During the engine run-ups, the magnetos are tested as well as the carburetor heat. And the gyro suction is also checked as being within normal parameters. Obviously, this will not apply in aeroplanes fitted with glass cockpits, but they are still not as common as the standard panel or six pack found in the majority of general aviation aeroplanes. The engine driven vacuum pump provides the suction to operate the vacuum gyros in the flight attitude indicator or artificial horizon and the directional indicator or directional gyro. These gyros must be spun up to 15 to 20,000 revolutions per minute before they can be depended upon to be accurate. This requires engine RPM. Consider the effect of going straight back to engine idle after the run-ups. The vacuum will be lost and the gyros will start to spin down. Let's imagine that we were about to enter the runway and take off night VFR or IFR with the gyros spun down and an inaccurate flight attitude indicator, especially on a dark night. Therefore, testing engine idle before the run-ups will allow us to keep the RPM up and the suction in the green, a much better safety option. Oh.